Oh yes, it is time guys, it is time. This video, I'm going to be making a video of my UMG, GB's, tournaments, whatever you want to call it, class setup, and then I'm going to show y'all some, uh, some dub strats, uh, because I play a lot of team doubles and things like that, and, uh, if, if any of y'all are looking to get into 2v2s, or even 3v3s, 4v4s, whatever it may be, uh, hopefully this video can help. So let's go ahead and get right into it, guys. We're just going to play on Affection. Um, to go ahead and start off, guys, I use, not the VMP, because I was running, um, uh, hard point and things like that, and they had a band. But anyway, so for instance, my Vesper, I'm going to be using Grip. Um, let's see, get all this set up. Sorry about that. I thought I already had everything set up, but I guess not. So pretty much this is my class right here, guys. My Vesper with quick draw stock and Grip. I got to have stock because when I pre-aim, I got to be moving side to side really quick. Um, so on and so forth. That, so this is my UMG class with the Vesper. My next class, I have an M8 here. Uh, same thing. This is 2v2s, right? Um, so, for instance, even for, let's see, right here, so after burner, past tense, that silence, blast suppressor, all this quick draw grip, uh, ELO sight, this is for the M8, um, and then for the sniper, SVG 100 is what I use with a ballistic CPU, most people use thermal, but I gotta use the ballistics, man, I got to, people use thermal, mm -mm. I gotta use the regular recon, recon with the thermal, with ballistica, reduced weapon sway, of course, um, but yes, so and with the M8 with ELO and grip, you know, Death Silence, Blast Suppressor, and Fast Hands. So that's pretty much it with that with my classes. That's really all the weapons that I use. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the strategies on Team Doubles. Now, obviously, I'm going to be playing as bots. Um, I'm going to be playing it. I'm going to be playing as bots, and they're not going to be exactly like people. But I'm going to go ahead and just like kind of explain what I usually do. Um, in team doubles, you know, uh, what strats that I usually run. Now, I haven't got my shot warmed up, so don't expect, like, a nice shot or nothing like that. Just, uh, I'm going to tell you, like, kind of the way, like, I think as far as when I play team doubles. So, like, how can you predict somebody, uh, where they're coming from, just things like that. So, let's, we're going to try to, we're going to try to get into this and see what can happen. It's all about, guys, you can have the worst gun skill in the world, but, like, yeah, it's good. I mean, it takes a little bit of gun skill, yes, but it's literally, dude. SD dubs is all about outsmarting the other person. You can outsmart the other person. You have a huge, huge advantage. All right. So, anyways, we're on this side, okay? So, ignore the bot on my team, okay? I'm not gonna worry about D Chang here. Oh wait, I gotta go on the other team. Clear the objective. Oh, we're gonna start on the other side. Well, gotta wait. Oh my gosh, what? Well, this could be a uh, little bit of a. This could be a minute. Stand down. It's a draw. All right, man. We are back out here. So now we're gonna be starting on this side. Usually on this side, for where I'm spawning, on this side on uh, CDP with the Vesper, you can automatically rush their top mountain. Mountain, okay. So you, you know, of course, you want to slide and whatnot, and uh, to get extra, you know, seconds and whatnot, things like that. But um. All right, so this you can get to this on this side. You can get up there before they get up here. Okay, when you jump up here, you want to pre-aim. Okay, like pre-aim right here, right? Just want to pre-aim because you have an uh, advantage. But after you kill that first guy right here, like as soon as you kill him, look over here at B. Okay, so like as soon as you kill him, don't push their spawn. Like that's just the way I think. You just automatically pre-aim. If you see him, you shoot him. The other guy's most likely going to be coming around to the backside like he was doing. Um, and then you get a pretty easy two piece. You kind of expect it. Because he's going to be more than likely in the process of just running at you, trying to get up there to kill you instead of just pre you, you know? So if you kill someone in front of you like that, they automatically turn around and look on the other side of that mountain. So we're going to have an M8 on this side. Usually what I do is I go, you know, this way, you know. And then instead of jumping up there, because usually they'll be pre you with a sniper back rock, right? I go on this side right here. They'll be like either right here on this glitch or they'll be on this rock, like way back there. So I don't see nothing right now, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and push up and then pre in this rock. I don't see nothing, right? So when I don't see nothing, then that's when I can just kind of look over there every now and then, and then start making my way to, to B. Make sure they don't come flank. Nothing over here. And then if we, our, our teammate, my teammate, whoever's with me, more than likely gonna be with me at B, right? He could go in here and plant bomb. Right here, just go ahead and plant bomb, and I'm gonna be over here, just looking from here, picking up his mid. 
Look in here, picking up his mid, right? So that's what I'm going to be doing like the whole entire time. While, while he's getting bombed down. We're out of time. Don't hold back. So now that I plant bomb, usually I'll go over here and just kind of look their spawn side, where they spawn at, because they might not have pushed through. Or I'll look, you know, keep looking mid, where my teammate's looking at. I'll be looked there. They're both here. Obviously my teammate will be here to try to trade one of those. But these are bots, they're not as good. But I'll be looking their spawn, look at mid, look at their spawn, look at mid. Depending where my teammate's at. If your teammate's got mid, then all you gotta watch is their spawn and your spawn, their spawn and your spawn. Just keep looking back and forth really quick. And guys, this is just the way that I play, you know, this is the way that I've grown into playing dubs and, and whatnot and hopefully it helps y'all. Okay, so now some other strats. Now if you don't want to go top mountain, you know, again, rush with the Vesper, VMP, whatever stuff you have. Uh, you can always go. It's always about outsmarting other people and getting places before they get places and having your pre-aim ready. Pretty much it's how it is. You just slide here and stay down and you just wait. Okay, so you see him cross. You can see B-bomb right here and you can see him cross through mid, right? Your teammate can get uh, all the B-side, like that B-side by rock. So it looks like these bots might have pushed through barn. I always want to be quick. See where they went. Okay, they might have went church then. Oh, there's some shadows. I don't know where he's at. But it's all about just like almost pre-aiming. Every single time you, you see an opening. When I say opening, I mean like this right here is an opening. He's coming to my right. But anyways, look. Like you're right here, right? You see an opening here. See an opening like right here. Open it on this side of you. So you see, so before you go around a corner, don't just run around a corner like this. Like you're going around, like you're drifting, right? Like I'm drifting around this corner here. You don't want to do all that. You just want to, when you get to a window, be, be ready and pre-aim. Be ready to pre-aim. Pre-aim door. Pre-aim door. Come around the corner here. Pre-aim door. Pre-aim door. You, you get what I'm saying? You don't want to just like run in here around the corner like, oh. Like you have one mission in mind, like I'm going to go to mid, mid statue or I'm going to go to B-bomb. You see how I'm not checking my left and my right? You don't want to do that. I'm going to go let him do what he needs to do. So, like, for instance, you're running. You're like, oh, okay, I got to get to B-bomb, right? So before you got 35 seconds, you got plenty of time. Before you get to B-bomb, check spots, like, where they might be at. Okay, they might get there, they might be there. They might be somewhere over here by the steps. Okay, now you know they're not over here. So then just play, like, reckless in here. Nothing in here. Check in my case. See, he might be out here on the, around the steps. Nothing around here. Okay, again, this is a bot. Oh, tell him where he's at. He might have rotated spawn. Okay, so he's not even gonna check me. Probably not. We'll see. Again, it's a bot, so don't expect it to be a real person. But y'all kind of get the idea of what I'm doing, though. Again, and let's go home. So once I check a spot, obviously it, the time is done like went down enough to know that he's probably not going to come that way so he's, they can only be in one or two directions so say we're going A now alright we done work B and again you and your teammate y'all need to work together communicate and uh, figure out a spot so you can see here pre-aim church nothing here right obviously he would be here by now so nothing mid nothing like that so they're either on B or A and my, this is how I play so you could be pre-aiming over here so I hear him to my right one of them came A he wrapped him mid. They're both here, so they're both pushing our spawn, obviously. But um, you see how I read that, though, guys. They, I mean, you can play them just like as they're humans. I came here immediately. Look, church. Look, mid. Nothing there, right? Nothing there. So they're either going A side or B side, okay? So that's where you start working together as a team. So you start working together this side. You check corners, check everywhere. Always pre aim stuff. Everywhere you look, get ready to pre aim. They can, might be here, they might come mid. They might come over B-bomb. Just always want to be, like, aware. And be like, someone's going to be there no matter what. So just get ready for someone to be there. That's pretty much how it is. Even if no one shows up, it's better to be ready than not to be ready. Whenever, Also, whenever you, like, jump around corners, going running around corners, don't just run around, just sprint with your gun, not pre- Like, watch, I'll show, I'll show you what I mean. So we're late into the round, and I'm running, and instead of just running around the corner like this, you know, like, like this, you have no idea where they're at, and you're just running around the corners, like, don't do that. Instead of going around the corner like that, go around the corner and just jump and have your pre-aim ready. 
You get what I'm saying? Don't just go here and just automatically. Then you got to get your gun up. Get your gun up and mid jump around the corner. All right. So let's just see what's going to happen here. So right now it's a two v one. Fifty seconds left. My teammate's dead. Right. So I'm right now I'm just checking doorways, checking where they could be at. Play it slow. Get you. So it seems to be somewhere around them if this is a real human, right? Then you're in a situation, take time, take your time with shots, don't rush anything, no need to freak out. And let's go home. More than likely you kill the first guy, the other guys could be somewhere around them. So get ready. So get ready to pre-aim corners, turn on somebody, jump, freak th freak them out. Do something crazy, you know, don't just like just sit there and expect them to be at B or something like that. Expect them there at like all times. You gotta play crazy. You gotta play crazy. So okay, let's try sniping. Clear the objective. All right. So usually we can go this window here, snipe church. Right? We don't see nothing church. Nothing church. Move over here to the tank. So we're not seeing nothing mid again, right? So obviously they're either going A or they're going B. So let's see if they go A. I might die here because I'm not gonna go look at B. Let's just see if they go A. <coughs> All right, they're not at A. Oh, okay, look, you see? They came B side. Now I expect another one to be there. Alright, we don't see nobody yet. He's A side. I'm gonna let him kill me. But always expect that next person to be somewhere around that area where he's gonna be at. Another thing, guys, man, about teamwork. Teamwork is a big thing, guys. No matter how old you are, 14, 20, whatever it is, man, keep your composure. Keep your composure. Do not let the game get in your head. If you're down 5-0, make that comeback, man. I've done it plenty, uh, plenty of times, and you gotta keep, you gotta keep your cool. That's what it's all about, man. Keeping your cool and don't, don't rage on your teammate. Don't get mad. Don't, none of that, man. It's not worth it. All you gotta do is set yourself up for failure, dude. Like you and your teammate or teammates just need to work together. All right, on this play here, obviously, I'm gonna have a guardian. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get, uh. Plant the guardian on the A bomb. So now that automatically leaves uh, B bomb. He's, they got to go to B bomb. If they go A bomb, I'm gonna know they're there, right? Because that because it's gonna uh, what do you wanna call it? It's gonna um, the heat wave is gonna get them. All right, always have pre aim ready. Always look at look how look how I'm running right now. I'm kind of running sideways slow. I'm running slow. Always ready. I'm not. In, you know how when I sprint, my gun goes down. You don't want that in this kind of situation. You kind of like sprint, walk, sprint, walk. Just get ready. Always want to get ready. I tell him where this dude's at. He's probably not gonna get a bomb. Always want to get ready for something. I'm gonna let it blow up. But you always want to be ready, man. Always. You got little head glitches like this. Go around corners. Pre-aiming corners. Don't just run around and not pre-aiming. Pre-aiming is such a big deal in this game, guys. It helps out so much. Alright, let's see if I can go ahead and end this round, guys. But like I was saying, guys, um, always talk, talk your teammate up. Like, tell them, oh, dude, good job, man. Like, make them feel good about himself, you know? Or, or, or he or she, whatever. Uh, make her feel good. Make her, um, uh, make him happy that he got the kill. Like, oh, yeah, let's go. Get him hyped up. Everybody wants that, man. I'm telling you. Everyone wants that. So I don't see no one over here, I don't see no one over there to my left, I'm going to push up. I don't see no one off the rock yet, so I'm going to go ahead and start making some plays at B. So I don't see nothing. There we go. Got one here. Alright, I, I killed the first guy, I'm getting bombed down. This is when you communicate your teammate. Yo, I'm getting bombed down, watch over me when I get bombed down. Alright, so most likely he's going he's gonna to head glitch bomb, and your teammate's going to have your back. So you have mid. You know, but, I mean, he, right here you can just sit here and just like juggle the bomb. He's behind me, I hear him. There he is. Like I was saying, man, just pre-aim corners. Always pre-aim. Pre-aim gets you a long ways. But, guys, that's probably going to do it for the video, man. I uh, hope that helped out. Any, If y'all want to go ahead and like, re replay the video, try to listen to see what I'm doing, uh, how I play.
try to relate that to you if it helps you any. And the big big thing that I was talking about is communication, teamwork. Don't get down. Don't get oh man, you, like shit. F this, f that. Like all that cussing, man. That does not help, man. If you're gonna do that, then don't even play Call of Duty. All you're doing is like getting your teammate nervous. Your teammates go play bad. Y'all get majority of the time lose the game. So it's not even worth it, man. It's not. Trust me, I promise. It's not. Uh, you want just nothing but positive vibes on your team. So, but yeah, guys. Uh, I hope that I hope this video helps out somewhat. I know, I know it's bots, but I mean that's pretty much how I play dubs. I, uh, hopefully, I, I explain things really well, and uh, and I hope y'all can progress y'all game from what I was trying to show y'all. But um, but yeah, that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, I try. To, I'm gonna try to get some more maps uploaded, uh, so y'all can see strats on that as well. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna do it for today's video. And until next time, this is Trydogs. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done that already, guys. Share the video. Do whatever y'all need to do. Like it, like it, like it. That of course helps the channel. And subscribe. Till next time. See you later. Peace.